Hey there, beloved saints. This is for a viewer that's having some hard time. This is for a channel called Wasting Time on YouTube. It's pretty fun. Um, uh, you wrote, and I'm only reading it because it's public, so I'm, you left it public, so it says, if anyone out there could pray for me, I'm feeling hopeless and suicidal. I fail God and don't have any fight left in me. Every day feels like torture. Please say a little prayer for me before you go to sleep tonight. Thank you. Sweetheart, um, we most certainly will. But I must say, um, this is not to scold you at all. I have been suicidal. I have, I have scars up both wrists where, where they had to stitch me up. I know. I know what that feels like. I really, truly do. So this is not to judge it. I'm only trying to give you some tools to maybe get you out of this. First of all, we've all failed God. That's why Jesus came and died for us. We've all failed him. Uh, we've all failed him once we were saved because we're human and in fallen flesh and we're selfish, vain, messed up creatures that don't even realize that sometimes the good we do is even motivated selfishly. So don't beat yourself up over that. And plus, it's kind of pointless. Doesn't serve any purpose. Uh, the guilt, the only time it's good is when it helps you change a behavior that's destructive to you or someone else. Okay? So whatever you're feeling guilty about, change it. Can't change the past, but you can prevent it in the future. That's the only thing guilt is good for. Uh, and the other thing is you need to find things that you can focus on to thank God for. If you wake up in the morning and you are not in agony, like your first thought is pain and all day long and it's all night and your only relief is when you're completely out cold asleep, but then you rarely get a sleep on top of it because the pain's so severe. Think about people that live that way. There's no end in sight to them. No end in sight. If you have one person that loves you, if you have one person left in your family that's alive, no matter how difficult your relationship might be, you know, you don't get along. They're family. Praise the Lord for it. Thank God that you, you don't wake up in agony and have no end in sight to your physical pain. People, you know, there's a lot of people that wake up and live with that every day. I'm much better now. I did have that at one time. I, I still have chronic pain, but not like that. And I learned that the days that it wasn't agonizing, I could thank God for it. And there were times that I would thank God for cold water, um, just and his creation and the moon and the stars, because things were so bad. I had lost so much in my life that I really felt bankrupt in the sense that I, I, because my health was bad, my career was gone, I wasn't with my family. The only thing I could do was find things to thank God for. And you start to realize all the little things we take for granted. I mean, for one, when you're thirsty and you have ice cold, clean drinking water, there is nothing better. Um, these are just little things, but, you know, there's so much in the world that we're so in our head we don't even acknowledge. I spent one day just being very conscious of what was around me and my senses. What was I smelling? What did I see? What did the leaves look like? How did the air smell? Did it smell the flowers? It was spring. It was like, uh, what colors are there? Things that made me very present in the now. Um, because sometimes if you go back in the past, it's painful. If you look to the future, it seems hopeless. So all you can do is right now in the present, look at the things that you do have and can thank God for. This is not to undermine your pain. Um, I don't know exactly what you're going through, but no matter how severe bad things are going in your life, you can always thank God and praise God for something. And so sometimes we have to look for those things and not focus on the things we don't have, but what we do. And, you know, I, I don't want to be cliche, but this too shall pass. Whatever is going on with you, it won't always be that painful. It won't always be that painful. Some things take a long time 
to get to where you can tolerate them, like grief and losing loved ones. That is so hard, and you never, like, get over it. But we do have the hope of seeing them again. That's that's what Jesus gives us. Um, and we have a glorious future. So today of all days, Resurrection Day, uh, we should rejoice because the fear of death has no hold over us. Death has no sting. It has no power. It was swallowed up in victory. Jesus had power over death, and he proved it through his resurrection. And he gives the same to us. So I really hope that you can you can find a way to look at what you know you have that's good. I'm not I'm just not again, it's not a scold. It's just a way I dealt with things when things were really bad for me. Is I, I had to consciously look for things positive because in every area of my life it was horrible. And some of it was my own doing and some of it wasn't. But it doesn't help to sit and beat yourself up and say you fail God. And we all fail God before and after we were saved. We all fail him. But he doesn't fail us. And that's something to rejoice in. The Bible says that God draws near the brokenhearted. It feels like he's a far away. It's because we're heart's bro heartbroken. Of course, it feels that way. But feelings aren't truth. He draws near to us when, when our hearts are broken like that. So, I again, I don't know what's personally going on with you, but I've seen a couple comments like this over the past few weeks. Um, maybe not looking at you right now is what you need. Maybe looking at Jesus. Maybe looking at someone that's maybe got a problem that's really bad and needs help with it. It helps me sometimes to get out of myself and help someone else so that I'm not focusing on a problem and it doesn't feel so alone, like I'm the only one in the world, you know, going through it because it feels like it sometimes. So um, I, I really hope that you can grow from this because you will grow from it. If you, if you allow, if you allow the pain to teach you, you can get better and you can grow from it and, and God can use it for good if, if you let him. He uses all things for the good of those who love him. So don't beat you up. Don't focus on you. Um, focus on him and his faithfulness because we all fail. And again, I'm so sorry you're feeling so down. I do know a lot of people are suffering right now. For anyone else that might be feeling this way, we all really do feel that way. I mean, maybe not all at the same time. But you're not alone in that feeling. Pain hurts. Doesn't matter why you're feeling it. It's horrible. Um, but you're not alone. And it will pass. It's not going to be that way forever. It says joy comes in the morning. It's, it's going to get better. So let God trust in him. Let God do what he's going to do in your life. And trust him. He's got plans for you that are good, more than we could ever see. So just trust that he loves you and that he's going to get you through this. But you've got to lean on him. And, and when things don't go the way you think they should, you've got to accept that and let God handle everything. Just lean on him. And again, I said helping people, sometimes just getting out of yourself, finding somebody that's way worse than you, and, and seeing what you can do to make them better. Heal them. It'll heal you, you know, truly. But let's all pray for this person, okay? Um, once again, the channel's name is Wasting Time on YouTube. Very cute. Um, and we will lift you up, okay? God bless.